Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jay Cruz and welcome back to another video. If you're wondering why my background looks a little bit different, well, that's because this is not my typical background, right? Usually this is where the camera sits and it faces that way and you see my studio desk and my neon sign and yeah, me sitting at my desk nice and comfortable, but today, I've, I'm making some changes here in the studio. Truth be told, I've actually been making these changes periodically every single week uh, for a long time now. I've been in this room for about a year and a half or so, and it served me very well, but you know, as you continue to make content, create music, you find ways to make life a little bit easier and more comfortable, and sometimes even just more visually pleasing. And for a long time, I'd say for over a year, the studio felt very, very cramped because I actually split this very tiny room in half. And I'd use half of it for the stuff you saw every single week, the studio stuff, but then this half, this back half here, I actually had it set up as a barber suite. This entire wall beside me was filled with a mirror, um, a table with all of my accessories and stuff that I needed for haircuts and truth be told I just kind of got frustrated with the shared space here so I recently decided to remove the barber chair and the mirror and all of the accessories that go on this wall and now it's made room to film uh, a little bit wider which I've been doing for the last couple of weeks but as you can see it's kind of empty so I came up with an idea of hanging up guitars all along this wall here I figured I could fit at least five wall hangers on here and then putting some shelves above my studio desk actually which can display guitar pedals again it'll be visually pleasing but more importantly my gear will be accessible and I'll be happier so today's video is sponsored by the Naomi LED light hanger After unboxing this thing and putting it together, there are some concerns that I have about the integrity of this product, let's just say. Uh, but we're gonna push forward and continue the installation so that we can give this product a really good review, a solid review. So as you can see, I do have some space here. We're gonna have to take these headphones down. I think I'll be able to fit at least five guitars, maybe more. Let's get started. This is a little bit more of the angle that you're used to seeing me on. You may already notice some changes that I've made, like for example, this mic that I'm currently using right now. I've been testing different mics for the videos in the last couple of weeks. I've settled on this one, but we'll talk about it in a different video. What I wanna do now is actually mount these shelves that I purchased. These happen to perfectly match my desk that I'm currently using. I think they're gonna look kind of cool to keep the pedals mounted and accessible, especially right above my desk. That's gonna be a lifesaver. I just wrapped up obviously these are minor upgrades that you the viewer doesn't even see look at this frame right now clearly you don't see the pedals that are mounted right above my desk you don't see the guitars mounted right next to the camera so was it meaningless not at all these are the kind of minor upgrades that I think we all need to make as time goes on you know what as we adjust what we're doing the overall functionality of our space needs to make sense for us as musicians as content creators and i think that these little minor changes are going to help me out tremendously in my workflow day to day specifically when recording the fact that i have access to a few guitars that i've mounted there and that i could quickly get to all kinds of different guitars that i would need 
in any given session or throughout any given moment is, is really convenient. And specifically the pedals above my desk, just being able to grab and play without having to look for the pedal or think about where I stored it. Because I mean, let's be honest, uh, though I am very organized here in this room, I tend to not be so organized with my storage area. And usually I end up wasting a ton of time looking for equipment that I know that I have, but I just can't find it. Now let's talk about the Naomi LED hangers. The pros are somewhat obvious with this product. You have a product that tackles two things that I personally love and I always look for in products or in my setups, and that is functionality and looks. The fact that I could hang a guitar on this product but also have it look nice and cool when I look at it is, is a plus for me and I really, really like that. But do we have any cons with this product? Unfortunately, there are some cons and I really need to address them. I can't hold back in this video, so let's address it. First and foremost, the integrity of this product. In the photographs, you might get the impression that this is some kind of metal or aluminum, and that is not the case. It is an extremely firm plastic, but it is indeed plastic. I initially had some of my more expensive guitars hung up on there and I didn't quite feel comfortable that they would be able to hold the weight. So I swapped the guitars out for some of the more least expensive, like my Ibanez parlor acoustic guitar. The second con for me is something that you could fix, but I couldn't fix. And that is the actual color of the LED itself. As you may or may not be able to tell, I'm pretty big on aesthetics and I like everything to be nice and even and look the same. And the fact that I can't control the lights is kind of a con for me, but they sent this product out to me. So they sent me the the red LED and the green LED uh, wasn't my choice. I would prefer they were the same color and I guess probably just the white LED just to make it sort of even across the board. But of course you can choose the color if you choose to invest into this product. I just didn't have that choice so I didn't get the luxury of that. Con number three, and this is probably the worst of them all, is the fact that the LED itself is only battery operated. Don't get me wrong, it makes it convenient to set it and forget it. The whole point of having an LED guitar hanger is to actually have the LED on and have it on all day long, I guess. It, that's how I would wanna use it at least. But the fact that they're battery operated gives it a lifespan, tells me that I have to worry about when will these batteries eventually run out. So I guess maybe the alternative would probably be investing into some maybe rechargeable batteries. That way you can constantly have fresh batteries on top and be able to swap them out when you want to. I do wanna thank though the folks at Naomi for sending me these hangers. They definitely came in handy here in upgrading my studio space and the functionality of my overall space. If you're interested in purchasing the LED hangers, I'll put a link in the description box below where you can purchase yours. Let me know in the comment section what you think, what you think of some of the upgrades that I made. These changes are definitely helping make my life a little bit easier here in the studio, and I'm thankful for that. While you're commenting down there, please do all of the things that help this channel grow. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you get alert every single time I upload a video. You can also donate directly to the channel by clicking that thanks button that YouTube now includes below in the video. Once again, thank you for watching and until next week.